Hi guys, welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to show you the essential baking equipment for beginners. If you are a beginner baker and wondering what are the basic tools needed, this video is for you. It should be of good quality, but it doesn't have to be expensive. Those who comment on my last video, your shout out is at the end of this video. So let's get started! Measuring cups and spoons. As we all know, baking is about being precise and accurate with all the ingredients. For us to get the exact measurement of each recipe that we have, this is a must-have tool. Oven thermometer. This is very important when baking as it sets your oven to the exact temperature and it prevents our goodies to be overbake or underbake. Mixing bowl. This is a bowl used for mixing of ingredients. For me, this is where the magic begins where all the ingredients are being combined to come up with a delicious food. It can be stainless steel or glass or plastic and it comes with different sizes. Pastry brush It is also known as a basting brush. A cooking utensil used to spread butter, oil, or glaze on food. Traditional pastry brushes are made with natural bristles or a plastic or nylon fiber, similar to a paintbrush, while modern kitchen brushes may have silicon bristles. In baking breads and pastries, a pastry brush is used to spread a glaze or egg wash on the crust or surface of the food. It can also be used to grease the baking pan, which is necessary to keep the cake from sticking to the pan. A fine mesh strainer, also known as sieve or sieve. For me, this is one of the most essential equipment when baking. You can see in almost all baking recipes that you need to sieve all the dry ingredients before mixing with the wet ingredients. This is used to break up clumps in dry ingredients as well as to aerate and combine them. Sifting all your dry ingredients means you end up with a super smooth butter. Muffin tray If you are a cupcake lover or a muffin lover, this equipment is just right for you. A muffin or cupcake tray is a mold in which muffins or cupcakes are baked. Muffin tins can be made out of aluminum, stainless steel, cast iron, or silicon. In addition, aluminum and stainless steel muffin tins may be coated with teflon or other non-stick coatings. Make sure to grease the pan before using to prevent the muffins or cupcakes from sticking to the muffin tins. Paper cupcake liners or silicone cupcake molds. Individual cupcake liners may be used in baking. This can facilitate easy removal of the cupcake from the tin after baking. Keep the cupcake more moist and reduce the effort needed to clean the pan. The use of liners is also considered a more sanitary option when cupcakes are being passed from hand to hand. Like cupcake pans, several sizes of paper liners are available from miniature to jumbo. In addition to paper, cupcake liners may be made up of an undisposable version, silicone rubber. Because they can stand up on their own, silicone liners can also be used on a flat baking sheet which makes them more popular among people who do not have a specialized muffin tin. Rolling pin A rolling pin is a cylindrical food preparation utensil used to shape and flatten the dough. Two styles of rolling pins are found. Rollers and rods Roller types consist of a thick cylinder with small handles at each end. Rod type rolling pins are usually thin tapered buttons. Rolling pins of different styles and materials offer varying advantages as they are used for different tasks in cooking and baking. Generally, it is used to roll out various types of dough when making food items such as bread, pastries, and cookies. This tool also works for crushing crackers and breadcrumbs. Spatula In baking, they can be used to mix all the ingredients to have a well-blended and smooth butter. Offset spatula is used to spread the butter on the pan before baking. Wooden spatula can be used when making bread or when working with the dough. 
whisk. A whisk is a cooking utensil which can be used to blend ingredients smooth and to incorporate air into a mixture in a process known as whisking or whipping. Most whisks consist of a long narrow handle with a series of wire loops joined at the end. A portable handheld mixer. This is one of the quote and unquote must have equipment when baking. As we all know, mixing is an important step in baking. Whipping a cream or egg whites is a time and effort consuming when done manually. I must say that having one electric mixer will help you a lot in baking for mixing, beating, whipping, and making sure all the ingredients are well incorporated. Cake pan. This is used when baking a cake. Cake pans come with different sizes and shapes. I must say that if you want to have a good quality cake, you must have a good quality cake pan. And of course, with the right ingredients, preparation, baking techniques, you will definitely have a beautiful cake. Silicon baking mat Baking can be messy sometimes. Baking mat will help you contain your mess. It will help you to have a clean work surface. It can be used when making bread or cookies as this will help in rolling a dough. Silicon baking mat This is a reusable non-stick baking mat used as a liner to keep the baked goods from sticking to the pan. Again, it doesn't have to be expensive but it should be of good quality. Parchment paper and cling film Parchment paper, baking paper, or bakery release paper is a cellulose-based paper that has been treated or coated to make it non-stick. It is used in baking as a disposable non-stick surface to help prevent the goodies from sticking to the pan. Plastic wrap, cling film, saran wrap, cling wrap, or food wrap is a thin plastic film typically used to keep the food fresh. When baking goodies, it is used to cover the dough while it is resting until it doubled in size. Sheet pan A sheet pan, baking tray, or baking sheet is a flat, rectangular metal pan used in an oven. It is often used for baking bread rolls, pastries, and flat products such as cookies, sheet cakes, Swiss rolls, and pizzas. Bread pan or loaf pan if you are a bread lover like me, then this is a must-have baking utensil. Bread pan or loaf pan is a pan used in baking a bread. It will help to shape bread while it is rising during baking. Some recipes call to grease the pan and some are not. But again, just follow the recipe to make a delicious bread of your choice. Cooling rack It is also known as a wire rack. It is used to allow air to circulate freely to cool baked goodies. This is a must-have baking tool. After baking, we have to remove the baked goods from the oven and place them on a wire rack to let it cool completely. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you learned something. If you want me to shout out your channels, please leave a comment below and I will do it in my next video. It's shout out time! Big shout out to my mom Celia, Manoy78 Vlogs, right on it that's Sis Ana San Miguel. Big shout out to all August celebrants, happy birthday Gino, Maura, and Aries. Big shout out also to Liz Bihera from Canada, Marids Cooking, Lutong Pinasarap Vlogs from Denmark, Boss Babe Cafe, Ayraknea2777, Mariel from Abu Dhabi. Big shout out to WBD Vlog. Kitty Corner, It's Windsor, My Little Antics, Eliza Barry and Richie, Simple Cooking Recipes by Baisaki, Big Shout Out to Kipi Story from Dubai, B Palaboy, Randy Palen, Apple Labuyo, Maria Lacuachera and Tech Joff TV from Sharjah, Big Shout Out to Sis Osler Paipa, Dipti Sachan, Ella Rafa, Chris Lawrence, Anna Ru, Melgera Manalo from Hong Kong, and to all UAE YouTubers. Again, thank you. Please watch out for my next video. Bye. God bless. Stay home. Stay safe.